There were just four seeds remaining in the 2015 City Open as the tournament reached the quarter-final stage. Kei Nishikori has been missed a consistency on the ATP World Tour this season. Marin Cilic is the first reigning US Open champion in 15 years to play the event. John Isner, who was fresh from a third successive Atlanta title last week. And the exciting Jack Sock, deposed of the number four seed Richard Gasquet. The first match on the stadium court saw Kei Nishikori go head-to-head -head with Australia's Sam Groff. It was a first-time meeting between the pair, and after Nishikori broke Groff's serve in the seventh game, he then cemented his advantage. A set in front, the Japanese number one is beginning to handle Groff's big serve well. That was rife with danger. And in the fifth game, Nishikori went deep into Lob City to leave Groff stranded. Another break in the bag, and it wasn't long before the number two seed had match points. And he's done it. Nishikori, already champion twice this year, backing up titles in Memphis and Barcelona. Well, he's on his way. One match from the final here in Washington. There was another first-time meeting of the day, as Marin Cilic took on German teenager Alexander Zverev. Zverev had only previously faced one top ten opponent, and Cilic was proving to be a little step up in class for the youngster. After Cilic took the opener 7-5, he then continued his dominance in the second set and appeared to already have one foot in the semi-finals. It was at that point that Zverev decided to wake up and he started to produce the kind of shots that have seen him establish a growing reputation on the ATP World Tour. He's made it. Great wheels from Zverev. And what a tidy finish. But in the end, it was Cilic who progressed after one and three quarter hours. The Croatian's victory sets up a semi-final meeting with Kei Nishikori in a repeat of last year's US Open final. Sure, it's going to be a great match to, for everybody to see and, uh, you know, it's uh, great for both of us, I think, to, to uh, reach uh, to the semis over here and uh, really looking forward for the next match. One of three Americans in quarter-final action was John Isner. He took on 25-year-old Ricardus Barankis. Barankis was enjoying his best run in Washington in his fourth appearance, and his previous matches had yet to drop his serve, but that swiftly changed. With one break of serve enough to take the first set, Isner was halfway to the semi-finals. And in the second set, the pumped-up number eight seed was going great guns once again. Oh yes, that is the perfect start. The Lithuanian did begin to put up more of a fight as he sought to go beyond the quarterfinals on the ATP World Tour for just the second time in his career. And to the shock of the partisan crowd, Berenkis was back on level terms. Game on. And he's got it. All he needs is one. But it wasn't long before the crowd were back on their feet when Isner produced a stroke of genius in the opening game of the third set. Oh, what a pass! Incredible effort from Isner. He pulled that out of nowhere. And Big John kept the locals happy as he ensured we'd have an All-American semi-final. It's wide. And the American number one does progress to the weekend. The last quarter-final matchup pitted Jack Sock against fellow American Steve Johnson. The match went with serve in the opening set, with both players refusing to give way. That is brilliant. With no break points for either player, in the tie-break, it was Johnson who broke ranks first. The close nature of the match suddenly evaporated, as in the second set, Sox game unraveled, and Johnson calmly took control. Oh, well done. And a nice little chess match starting to shape up here. And the world number 55 reeled off an impressive six straight games to make it an All-American semi-final. It was a little chess match in the first. I got up to a lead in the second and, you know, just try to clamp down and play strong games. And fortunately, it worked out tonight. So the semi-final lineup was complete, with Johnson and Isner guaranteeing one American in the final. And in a repeat of last year's U.S. Open final, Kane Shikori takes on Marin Cilic.